Hey, it's Kyle from Backcountry Adventure Motorsports, and today I'm gonna to be giving you a quick overview of the MyMedic Moto Medical Kit. I'm gonna tell you why I think that this is the best moto specific kit that's available, and make sure and stay to the end because I'm giving away two of these kits. Let's get into it. So just some transparency, my medic is not paying me for doing this review, uh, but they did send me all of these kits for free to try out and then give away to you guys when I'm done. One of these kits I've used for over a year, I've beat it up, I've taken it on all my rides, and to be honest, I'm super impressed with it. Um, like all my reviews, I'm gonna be completely honest with you, and there are some cons to this, and we'll get, in that, get into that here in a minute. So the previous kit that I've used, and I've also done a video on, is the MyMedic MyFac. That is an excellent kit. It's a really good trauma kit. I keep that in my truck now. Um, it's just a little bit big, in my opinion, after some long-term use uh, for the motorcycle. And one of my biggest complaints about it is it's not waterproof. It has a Cordura shell, and that's great, but if you keep it on the outside of your bike like you probably should, so you have quick access to it when you need it, it's gonna get muddy, it's gonna get wet, and it's, it's, once all that stuff gets soaking wet, it could ruin some of the contents on the inside. This one, on the other hand, is considered to be waterproof. A little caveat to that, I wouldn't submerge this. The zipper, even though it does seal pretty well, um, you can see that it does have some gaps in it around the corners and whatnot, so I would say it's highly water resistant, but the shell itself, is definitely um, better than what the Cordura was as far as being waterproof or water resistant. It does have some little Molly straps. You can see these here. Those are great for strapping it to the back of your bike. Um, like I said, this is, is really small enough to where it could go inside your pannier, pannier but uh, I would suggest maybe putting it on the outside of your bike because uh, whenever you need it, it'll be easy to get to, unless you put it in the top of your pannier and you, it's an easy go and grab. But I would always highly suggest making it readily available. I will show you one of the downsides to this Molly that's on here, and it is made of that same kind of like rubber waterproof material, is that on my other pack, taking this one off-road, and like I said, I've beat the crap out of this one, you can see that these uh, little straps failed what had happened was it was bouncing it flipped and then i didn't realize it and it was just jostling all over the place and it ended up tearing these and a buddy of mine luckily was behind me and saw it come off and was able to like let me know and i was able to pick it up and not not lose the kit so the kit comes in two color variations a red and a black and it's roughly eight inches by six inches by two inches and i'll leave all the metric uh conversions down below this kit comes in a standard version and a pro version. The standard version has all the necessities that you would need in a medical kit, plus some additional ones that are more motorcycle related. The pro version, the real difference in that is that it's got some medical aid equipment in there that is a little bit more advanced that you might need some training on to use before using it. And it also really covers more of your traumatic injuries. But we'll get into that here in a minute when we open this up. So like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this is a quick review, so I'm not gonna go into detail about all the equipment that's inside, just a quick overview. One of my favorite things about this is that each section has a mesh pouch, so you can see what's inside there, and those pouches tear right out. So if you needed just this, you could do that. Um, so for this one here, this is kind of your uh, first aid, your uh, lotions and your pills uh, that you might need. So it comes with a, some, some uh, some butt cream, which is great for chafing. Um, you also have all of your, like your allergy medicine. You've got your, there's a little bit of a glare there, your zips packet, which is essentially the, a new version of Steri strips or stitches. These are super nice, especially for any like deep lacerations. You basically stick them on, like you kind of see in the photo here, you can stick them on each side of the injury and they literally, it's like a zip tie. You can pinch the wound and it zips it up. It's, these are, these are super handy. Um, you've got your ibuprofen, um, some Dramamine, and then you have some medical scissors that are good for cutting off clothing and whatnot. 
push all this up over here. Another thing that's in there is a vented chest seal. There's actually two of them in here and these are excellent. Like one of those advanced pieces of equipment. If you don't know how to use these, I would definitely look at some training on how to use these before just um, slapping them on somebody. But these, this is one of the advanced life-saving pieces of equipment that are in this kit. Moving on into this little burn section here, you have some burn cream. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave that in there. And again, as I mentioned in this airway section here, you've got um, a CPR valve, which is really nice. Um, in this little piece here, you've got a, uh, a glow stick, you've got a flashlight whistle and some tweezers. And then you also have kind of your advanced, um, you know, for looking at if somebody has a concussion, you can kind of compare the, your, your pupil size and whatnot. But this, this light's really nice to have for that. Some 550 cord or paracord. Over here you have your non-adhesive gauze and some regular gauze bandages. Um, one thing that I would highly recommend you do is um, take this out of the package. This is your rat's tourniquet. Now I know that there are a lot of controversy about rat's tourniquets, if they're good or not. Honestly, what I do is I leave this in my kit and I always carry either a cat or a a uh, soft tourniquet in, in my pouch on my jacket or my riding gear. That way it's easy accessible. Um, both tourniquets are excellent, um, but personally I have more training with the um, soft or the cat tourniquet and I just really like those a lot, but I do keep this one in the kit. And again, I would take this out of the package. That way it's ready to go. You don't have to worry about filling with it and trying to tear it apart and get to it. Cause whenever you need a tourniquet, you need it now. Moving on to this other side, um, you've got your quick clot space blanket, uh, a little splint here and some medical tape, some sports tape. Um, you've got some super skin or mole skin, some compression gauze, which is really nice, uh, especially if you've got um, some bleeding that you can't stop. The compression gauze is great to pack wounds with, or again, just to apply compression while you wrap it up to help stop that, that major bleeding. And then in this little package here, you've got your standard, uh, your, your band-aids essentially. I would definitely, in this kit, um, one thing I've noticed about it is I don't feel like they give you enough band-aids. Um, I mean, I think there's a total of maybe 10 in here, but I would add some regular size band-aids in here just because it seems like every time we end up going out, we always have some kind of cuts and scrapes that we use. And um, not only for you, but your buddy, it's nice to have an, an addition to this kit, a little bit more band-aids in it. <clears throat> Um, back to that advanced gear, this, this quick clot here is one of those things where um, you might want to have a little bit of training before you just start using quick clot. It's a, basically it's a, a chemical that helps clot blood um, when you've got major bleeding. And in this little hydration pack here, you can see it's got a little water bottle on it. Um, you basically just have some little hydration packs uh, to help prevent dehydration. So that's pretty much it for the contents of this kit. And I know down in the comments, you guys are gonna sit there and say, oh, it doesn't have this and it doesn't have that. And, and I get it. There's no perfect kit out there. So by all means, add whatever you want to to this kit to make it work for you. But that being said, it does have a really good baseline of what you need as far as a turn, turnkey kit. Because if you had to go through and build this yourself, one, you're probably gonna spend more money and you're gonna spend a lot of time trying to find the good quality equipment that's in here. Now, as I said, there are certain things you want to add. Like I, for me personally, I feel like it needs a little bit better tourniquet. Um, the, the rapid tourniquet is great, but I just don't have uh, the training with it as I do of the other ones. So I feel like that's great for me. And like I mentioned too, uh, you might want to add more band-aids. Uh, you might want to add something for like indigestion or diarrhea, something like that. Because if you're out um, in the wilderness and you maybe your water filter doesn't work right, or maybe you do get end up getting some kind of uh, stomach bug while you're out, that can make life miserable. So you definitely wanna have something that can help with that. I didn't see that inside this kit here. But also leave me down in the comments. Let me know what you would add to this kit and uh, what items that you bring in your medical kit or if you would like to see them add to this kit, let me know and I could pass that information along. One quick thing I forgot to mention about the pro version and I, I did mention it earlier is that it does come with a SAM splint, which is really awesome for, you know, broken arms, supporting broken legs, whatnot. These are excellent to have. They're very like moldable. They can pack really, they're fairly thin. So they pack really easy. So it's really nice to have. And it also does come with a first aid survival book. This is great. It gives you a little bit of uh, like, reference for for applying first aid um, it also has a little quick little survival guide in there as well if you needed that 
So as I said at the beginning of the video, I'm gonna be giving away two of these kits and they're actually gonna be the pro versions. And on the MyMedic website, these are worth $225 and it's really easy to enter. All you need to do, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button as well as that bell icon and also give this video a like. Also head over to Instagram and follow both myself if you haven't yet and MyMedic. From there, head back to this video and just leave a comment down below letting me know what you would use this for, um, what adventures you have coming up, really anything just to let me know that, you have, that you've completed those tasks and that uh, now you are now entered. Even something simple as done would work. But I would like to have a little bit of a conversation with you, but if all you have time for, I completely understand. That's for one of the kits. The second kit is going to be given away at my giveaway over on Instagram. And since you already follow me now, if you follow, if you go through and enter for the first way, um, you can see that the video is there and that's really easy as well. Head over to backcountryadvmoto.com um, and for every $5 that you spend in the retail spot, um, then you will also be entered to win. So for instance, a sticker is $5, uh, that's one entry. A hat is $30, that's a six That's six entries. Same thing with the shirt, and it all adds up. Spend $100, that's 20 entries, and so on. So unfortunately, this giveaway is only good for US residents due to shipping and fees when you're shipping international. But that being said, guys, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Um, also, if you wanna pick up one of these kits on your own and not have to worry about the raffle, there's an affiliate link down below that'll save you 15% on picking up one of these kits. So definitely check that out if you're interested. Once again, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.